Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about uh, measurement of AC signal using CRO or DSO. So in electronics and communication engineering, these are the very basic experiment we have to learn this. So you know very well CRO, the abbreviation is cathode ray oscilloscope. The advanced device which is used instead of CRO is called as digital storage oscilloscope. So this is a digital storage oscilloscope, up to 500 megahertz or 50 megahertz of uh, frequency signals can be displayed in this uh, monitor. So this uh, digital uh, storage oscilloscope act as a output device. So this is called as a function generator or signal generator. So the maximum of 10 megahertz and uh, 40 megahertz frequency uh, level of uh, signals can be generated with the help of this function generator. So now we are going to interface these two devices. So whatever signal you want to uh, generate that can be generated with the help of this function generator. Uh, for example, function is nothing but uh, sine function, cosine function, triangle, rectangle, square, uh, logic, uh, TTL logic signal. Likewise, uh, different functions are available. So whatever uh, signal you want to generate with the help of this function generator, you can uh, generate with a particular range of frequency at the same time with uh, amplitude level which can be fixed by the user. So now we are just uh, connect this uh, output of this uh, function generator to the CRO or DSO. So here the two channels are available in uh, DSO, first channel and the second channel. So uh, out of this uh, two channels, any one channels can be taken. Uh, uh, for uh, displaying our output. So for example, now I am going to uh, produce only one signal. Uh, sign function means uh, that sign function output can be generated with the help of this uh, function generator and it can be uh, displayed in this monitor of uh, DSO. So this is the main concept. So for this we can uh, draw the diagram. So for sign function, so function generator is the input device. So which can be connected with CRO which is output device. So CRO is the output device and function generator is the input device. Both are directly connected that means the positive terminal of the function generator and positive terminal of CRO is connected together. Negative of function generator and negative of CRO is uh, connected together. So how can we connect this uh, two uh, input and output devices together means with the help of this probe. So this probe is the uh, only single probe that is the both the two terminal of uh, uh, probe point can be connected with uh, DSO and uh, function generator directly without any positive and negative connections. So at the same time if you want to use uh, positive and negative terminal separately uh, in probe means uh, we have the options. So uh, this is another category of probe. So in this uh, probe we have two terminals or two points which is positive points and negative points. So whenever you want to connect the positive terminal at the same uh, you can use this uh, positive terminal. If you want to ground it uh, you can connect this uh, negative terminal. So for this purpose we have two category of uh, probe. So depends on the experiments we can use it. So in this experiment we just measure the AC signal using CRO or DSO. So that means uh, with the help of this function generator we just interface this function generator with the CRO or DSO. So here uh, the advanced uh, device or equipment uh, I used DSO instead of CRO. So because why we are using this uh, DSO means uh, the accuracy and uh, the advanced uh, measurements uh, everything is available instead of uh, CRO. And if you want to take the output that also saved in this device at the same time with the help of uh, USB port to your uh, pen drive you can copy the output and uh, you can take it as a printout and uh, paste it in your record for uh, further purpose also. So this is uh, DSO. Now let us see how to generate the different functions with the help of this uh, function generator and CRO. So this is function generator, we just switch on the device. So you have to uh, set the frequency with the help of this uh, frequency uh, knob or button. So here you can fix uh, hertz or kilohertz or megahertz range of uh, frequencies. 
so initially i just uh, click uh, hertz so 1.20 kilohertz is now uh, displayed in this uh, lcd at the same time what function we want to use that can be uh, changed with the help of this function butter here uh, sign function is default so if i press again the square is changed again if you press it ramp signal can be displayed similarly pulse uh, ttl logic signal etc so uh, here i can set uh, sign function and uh, here the attenuation and uh, modulation is essential to change at the time we can use this button otherwise we just uh, uh, don't touch this button uh, for this particular experiment and here duty cycle so this is uh, one knob which is used to vary the uh, positive terminal and, uh, and that means a positive half cycle and negative half cycle uh, periods when both the periods are equal uh, that is uh, same duty cycle if the positive half cycle is uh, high negative half cycle is uh, small time period means uh, it is another category of duty cycle so normally if you consider uh, pulse signal so for example this particular time period is 0.5 millisecond the same duty cycle is retained here also 0.5 millisecond so for this adjustment in case if you want to change it for positive uh, half cycle 1 millisecond a negative half cycle only 0.5 millisecond this adjustment can be done with the help of this duty cycle button at the same time this uh, frequency variable knob can be varied frequency ranges so now the default value is uh, fixed in uh, 1.19 kilohertz if you adjust this knob automatically the frequency of this uh, signal is varied for the corresponding sign function so last is uh, amplitude variable so what amplitude you want to uh, display in this uh, dso that particular amplitude level can be varied here so these are the different uh, knobs we are using in function generator now we just uh, switch on this uh, dso so after switching this uh, dso here the dso digital storage oscilloscope uh, will be appeared in this uh, lcd display after that the our entire uh, uh, scales both in x axis and y axis are displayed here so here i adjust my frequency range 1.6 or 1.2 1.6 uh, kilohertz etc depends upon the variation of this uh, frequency ranges the time period of this uh, signal in uh, dso is varied so this is the exact signal so i here uh, give 1.30 kilohertz uh, frequency uh, that is this particular frequency of sign function is generated with the help of this input device function generator that is directly connected with this uh, channel 1 so this channel was uh, 1 is in on condition at the time uh, the corresponding uh, sign function is uh, uh, produced and displayed in this uh, dso output so this is the monitor of uh, dso so it is uh, output device so if you want to measure it you can uh, press the run and stop button at the time the oscillation of the signal variation is now stopped you just ad adjust this uh, x position and y position value so this is y position that is from top to bottom adjustment can be carried out by with the help of this channel 1 y position knob that can be adjusted here after that the x position adjustment can be carried out with the help of this x position knob so now you can measure uh, from this is the starting point of this uh, one particular period of signal and or positive half cycle is taken place and again it is um, come down to the negative half cycle and it uh, again reach to zero so from zero to 90 degree and 180 degree minus 90 degree that means 270 degree and it goes to 360 degree the entire full cycle of one particular period is the one particular sign function for example normally we can calculate frequency so this particular starting point zero to again the starting point or 360 degree is the one cycle or one period so if you want to measure so this is x axis we can take time and y axis we can take amplitude the corresponding units are for amplitude is volts and time is for millisecond or microsecond or second so uh, now we can define frequency which is equal to 
inversely proportional to time so simply we can uh, say frequency is cycles per second so normally in interview point of view very basic questions will be asked what is frequency so frequency is nothing but number of cycles per second so which is uh, definition for uh, frequency so now this is the one full cycle so now you want to measure this uh, on each uh, small boxes are called as one particular unit so for each small division value is 0 0.2 so next 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1 similarly uh, in uh, half uh, negative half cycle 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 so the total amplitude for the entire uh, full cycle is denoted as uh, positive half cycle 1 volt and negative half cycle 1 volt so the total voltage or amplitude is equal to 2 volts similarly for uh, time period one full cycle is taken place and after that third point is there so one full cycle and third 1.6 is the uh, time period so that is uh, denoted in this uh, microsecond so 100 microsecond so that means uh, here we can adjust this exposition the corresponding values can be displayed so for channel 1 the total voltage and the corresponding uh, microseconds or millisecond at uh, the time period can be displayed in this monitor so after pressing this uh, run or stop button the uh, running of this uh, signal is uh, stopped and uh, stable you can measure it so this is the setup for uh, measuring the sign function uh, from uh, function generator to CRO so this is a measurement of AC signal using DSO so in case if you want to uh, take the printout automatically you just save this signal by pressing it uh, this entire signal is saved here and you can press the uh, 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 pen drive and uh, you can save this uh, signal and you can take the printout in case at a time you want to use the uh, two channels and uh, you can use the two probes simultaneously and uh, you can press the two channels at a time and you can vary the two uh, uh, voltage knobs knobs at the same time uh, y position knobs also so according to the variation of uh, two inputs or two outputs uh, you can able to use it so with the help of only one input uh, we can use only one function generator and one CR uh, channel which is used to display the output. So this is the concept of uh, measurement of AC signal using DSO. So if you want to uh, remove this uh, displaying of uh, some uh, parameter in you just press this menu uh, button automatically everything will be removed. So finally you can observe the value. Thank you all. I hope everyone understand this concept. If you like my video, kindly subscribe it. Thank you.